Welcome back to Storytime with Lynn. Today I'll be reading A Little Spot of Worry, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. This was recording using bilateral audio, which is best utilized listening with headphones. Let's begin. Hi, I'm A Little Spot of Worry. I show up when you are feeling concerned, afraid, or scared about something that could be hurtful or harmful to you or others. Wow, you have a pretty important job. I belong to a family of feelings that also includes joy, appreciation, and loneliness, to name a few. All feelings have a purpose. Learning when and why they show up can help you make friends, stay safe, motivate you, and so much more. When a worry spot shows up, It can either be a useful worry or a spinning worry. A useful worry prevents you from getting into real danger. A spinning worry uses your imagination to think of danger that probably won't happen. Let me show you the difference. Worry, useful worry, you need this worry. Spinning worry, you don't need this worry. A useful worry can help you stay safe. It reminds you to wear a helmet so you don't have to worry about hurting your head. Now you are safe and having fun at the same time. A spinning worry will make you imagine a lot of negative what-if thoughts. They get so carried away that they start multiplying and you won't even think about having fun anymore because you will need to be so worried. What if, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if? Spinning worries keep you from trying safe and new things. That's not good. You just missed out on a fun bike ride. I am too scared to try. If you don't do anything about your spinning worries, they can keep multiplying and turn into a big anxiety spot. And that doesn't make you feel very good. That's why it's important to recognize a spinning worry as soon as possible so you can make it go away quickly. Spinning worries don't like spinning at all. It makes them dizzy. And the faster they spin, the more they multiply. Oh no, I'm spinning too fast. Help. How can we help? What can we do? A spinning worry can give off warning signs when it starts to multiply. It can cause your heart to beat faster, your tummy could start to hurt, or you could begin to sweat. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between a real danger, which is a useful worry, and a danger that you imagine. This is a spinning worry. If this happens, ask an adult, and they can help you tell the difference. Sometimes in the dark, your imagination tries to trick you. That shadow over there, is just your worry spot wearing a funny hat. You can also think of positive what-ifs and positive thoughts. When you believe in yourself, it helps keep a spinning worry away. What if I become really good at this? I am not scared. I can tell when my imagination is trying to play tricks on me. The more you grow a confidence spot, the fewer spinning worries you will have. Telling yourself something positive every morning helps keep spinning worries away. I am smart. I am kind. I am brave. Adults who care about you, like your family, teacher, doctor, or coach, have a lot of experience with spinning worries. There is a magical question they can ask you to help make them disappear. Here it is. Spinning worries? Why did you appear? Please tell me what made you come here. Now all you have to do is describe your spinning worries as best as you can. Answering these questions can help. Where were you when your spinning worry showed up? What were you doing when your spinning worry appeared? Did you see or hear something that caused your spinning worry to spin faster? Sometimes it can help to write or draw it out too and schedule a time with an adult to discuss them later. 
just make sure you put them in a place where you will remember them, like a box or your pocket. That's a great idea. The spinning worries will start to disappear when they hear your answers. I'm worried about. I'm scared. Poof. I'm afraid. Poof. What if? Poof. You are safe. I am here to help spinning worries disappear. I am listening to every word you say to make spinning worries go away. Hearing these words of encouragement is the final step. Now all of your spinning worries are gone and all you have left is me, your useful worry. You did it. Remember, all feelings have a purpose. Learning when and why they show up can help you. Now, the next time a spinning worry shows up, you'll know what to do. Thank you so much for joining me today on Storytime with Lynn, reading A Little Spot of Worry, written and illustrated by Diane Alber.